Hello oh, and welcome to another Scratch tutorial. Today we are going to be making a game where you have a platformer style game where you go and shoot at other people. I, I don't mean shoot, I mean launch projectiles at the other opponent to eliminate them. Okay, that that didn't work. Hey guys, just so you know this video is, if I ever monetize my videos, this one is already demonetized, so good for that. So, um, if you've already followed the platformer tutorial, at least the first one, you have this script. That's all you need so far. Um, so you start with this platformer script, which allows you to move around and jump and stuff. And that's pretty much all you'll need for now. So, uh, so next, uh, we want to make a nice little arena. So, Let's make our arena. If you made this with levels, then, um, I don't know. Do whatever you want, I suppose. But, <coughs> every time I cough, I know it kills headphone users. Maybe that's why I do it. Or maybe I'm sick. So, I would suggest pausing the video, because usually people want to put a little more care into building their consequential level. I'm just going to do this. So now you can just kind of move around in this little world you've created. It's like liberals. Okay, maybe, okay, forget I said that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, totally forget I said that. <laughs> that I, I'm just going to say goodbye to YouTube forever now because they hate me for saying the liberal word and acting like it's a bad thing. Sorry, there's stuff on my screen. I'm just wiping it off. Okay, so now that we've gotten this drawn, um, uh, so we, we've now drawn our stage and our first character. What we want to make is... A direction variable and this is not derpy um, this is direction for purple so at the beginning we want to set it <coughs> sorry to left um, and that that's in just a lowercase L and then just duplicate this Put this L, make this L, and make this R. So depending on the direction you're going, that's what it will be. And that's all we need for now, for this sprite. Now let's duplicate it. Uh, this will be the other person. So first, let's make a little more interesting of a character. And you can draw this however you want. I'm just doing this a little rushed. <coughs> Sorry. Not really my fault, but I'm apologizing anyway. So there. Take that. I'm apologizing. Boom. Um So now it will go there since these are variables independently created. Whoops. Since these are um, variables that are independent of each other, they just have the same controls. They don't affect each other. You can tell that by um, how they aren't getting affected when each other move. So, a a except for the direction P. So, first thing we want to do is make a new variable. Dir D, which is direction G. And make sure these are not local variables. And then just replace this. And this is direction for green. <coughs> now, my personal taste is um, arrow keys and WASD, so we're going to replace right arrow with D and left arrow, left arrow with A. Then we're going to replace the jump key with 
Where is W? I wish you could just like... No, it doesn't work like that. I wish you could just type in whatever letter you wanted. So now you have two independently c controllable ones. So this is arrow keys. This is WASD. So now you have two little guys. Like It's hard to control two at once, but... <laughs> Sorry, guys. Allergies and the cold. Not a good combination. So now let's make little lasers. First laser, I think, should be green. Or actually, no, we can make them both red. So that, yeah, okay. I, I've changed my mind. I'm going to make both red so it will take a little less time. And it'll just be little balls. And then on flag, repeat forever. If, then for a fire key, I'm going to use the down key or the S key for WASD. So, um,. So if the down arrow key is pressed, then ah, uh, sorry, then it will create a clone of itself. Now, when it starts as a clone, uh, we want to go up to looks and we want it to show when it starts as a clone and hide at the beginning. Um, show, then motion. We want it to go to. Sprite 1, then make an if-else statement, and actually we want to put this up here and have the show below that. Now if it's, if, <coughs> direction equals if direction purple equals left, whoops, wrong key. If it's if direction purple equals left, so if it's left, um, then it will, um, then it will start by, um, uh, changing y by negative ten. Then it will show. Then it will repeat until. Now, again, or. So, repeat until touching color or touching edge. So, if it's touching the edge or if it's touching the, the platform color, then it will. Do this. And then at the end, it will delete this clone. So, um, now, uh, see how it's pointing in a weird direction? That's because, you know, I did stupidly. <laughs> I put Y instead of X, so maybe we should do that correctly. I do this all the time, though, and probably everyone else does as well, so I'm not embarrassed or anything. I'm just filming, so that's a little embarrassing, but not a huge amount. It's not a huge deal. All right, so now if you do this, you can pew pew in both directions. So now, first thing I want to do is change this to like negative four and maybe four, so that it's a little, it's a little more obvious what you're doing. Next, 
slow down the fire rate, which we can do with a delay function. Zero point two, maybe. So now you can shoot like pew 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 pew. I think that's a good rate of fire. So now you can click down to shoot. Okay. Now let's duplicate this sprite. And now let's replace this with S, because it's going to be the other laser. Um then we'll have to go to sprite two, which is our other sprite. And we'll have to replace this to dir direction G. But then you can fire out of this one too. Um, all right. So now one more thing we have to do um, is um, just get an if statement. We're going to put it into the main function. If touching color red. So if touching color red then grab an if else statement. Now, make two variables. Okay. And then purple health. Okay. So let's just put green health over here. Nice and organized. Now let's start by setting each, both purple and green health to something maybe a hundred. Whoops. Let's do a hundred. So then if um, touching color red, or no, um, sorry, if health is greater so <coughs> so we'll do purple health since that's what this sprite is if purple health is greater than five actually zero um change purple health by or negative five Actually, we do want to do this. Else, set purple health, purple health to zero, and then stop all. So this, put this at the very bottom of your function, right before the move before the change Y by 1. So put it right there. First, though, we want to send this to Sprite 2. Just do that by dragging. Then we'll just go in here. Okay, sorry this is so tedious to move this. Um, so replace purple health with green health. Change green health by negative one. Set the green health to zero. So now, you can see you're not injured if you are shooting because it moves away from you. But if I go up here, ah. Uh, mess this up uh, let's see okay there we go okay yeah okay it, it was just missing so now you have something that works well and then you can have someone die that's I mean oh gosh demonetization here we come okay but that's all for this tutorial. I hope you learned something. I hope you'll make a fantastic game with it. And I will see you in the next tutorial.